Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today I've got a really cool idea for you. Today we're going to be copying the Sturm Tiger, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do something kind of interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and essentially copy the, the design, the premise. Um, obviously there are no rockets in this game, so it's not a huge rocket. But we're going to go ahead and build something where we can poop out an entire, like, massive shell onto the enemy. Hopefully, that's something we can do. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Also, if you're wondering what this is, this is an APC that I built in a previous video, and honestly, it's actually pretty cool. So, if you guys go ahead and check that out, uh, it might be in a previous video, or it might come out later today, or tomorrow. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start building. Okie dokie, so yes, I did say we were going to copy the uh, the Sturm Tiger a little bit, okay? We're not necessarily doing the same thing, uh, but we are going to have the huge gun. That is essentially the similarity that I really, really want. Anyway, let's go to c compartments, there we go. Go to preform holes and get rid of that, there we go. We're going to go to uh, mobility, get rid of the fenders also, like I always do. Um, we're then going to go to tracks and we're going to start building the tracks on. Now... Uh, we're going to copy the Sturm Tiger in a way of getting rid of the uh, the return rollers. Uh, that's not something I generally do, but it is something that's kind of interesting, so we will do it today. Um, right, let's go ahead and make the idler wheel pretty big. Do -do 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 -do. That's the first thing we're going to do, 0.9. There we go, that is actually pretty large. We're then going to make the road wheels the exact same diameter, 0.9. And that already actually looks pretty good to me. I wouldn't mind leaving it... Pretty much just like this, to be honest. Uh, I don't mind that at all. I think that looks that looks okay. Okay, so what are our main things with this then? Um, I think, honestly, one of the main things is uh, we need some very, very strong uh, tracks. So we're going to go ahead and make these guys really thick. There we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change it so that it looks nicer too in terms of these guys. Uh, the idler wheel is going to be a strong one. There we go. These guys are going to change to this. Um, these guys are going to look like that. There we go. Actually, like that. There we go. So they all look the same. Uh, the suspension is going to stay as is. That's okay. The return rollers, we don't actually have any. Track segments going to look like this. And that should be pretty sick. The length of it, 0.25. And there we go. Yeah. Nice. You know, actually, I'm sort of thinking about the interleaved bit on the road wheels. I think we should have it. So we are going to. There we go. We're also going to make the width of these way bigger. And if I can, we're going to give them a little bit of spacing uh, so that it looks a little bit better too. Yeah, that actually looks really good. I like it. Um, width, a little bit less. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so next thing, we're going to go to compartments. Uh, this entire bottom is actually going to be angled forwards like so. I want to be able to drive up to the enemy and essentially just blow them up. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's all I want to do. So this is going to be heavily armored. In fact, it's going to be maximum armor straight away. And we're going to go for late war because that makes sense. So there you go. 200 mil of armor straight away. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. All right, cool. Let's not have x-ray on. I want to be able to see where I'm putting these things. Uh, I want it pretty much lined up very well on the edge. There we go. And then we're going to need a massive, massive bit on the top. And that's going to be where our gun goes. So uh, what we're going to do is split this. And there we go. And our gun is going to go on the front. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Extend this upwards, there we go, quite far, then bring it backwards like so, and there we go. It's supposed to look ugly, okay? <laughs> it is It is supposed to look somewhat ugly, but there you go. Something like that. It's kind of strange already, but sure. Uh, we're then actually going to go and extend these guys out over the edge. Okay. Uh, we're going to drag them backwards, yeah, give them a bit of an angle. I know that's kind of strange, but sure. And then we're going to try and build this in underneath. And fit it all together. So if I can. Um, I want to fill in this bit. But how do I actually do that? Um, edges. There. Split. There we go. Awesome. And then we can grab these guys. Or at least this one. Extend it out sideways. To there. There we go. That's actually pretty sick. There we go. Uh, grab this guy. Bring it upwards. And that actually looks awesome. It looks really, really cool. Extend this guy. Bring it upwards so that it fits. And then send it across here, just like so. That is amaze balls. Yes. Okay, grab that one and that one. Send it backwards and leave it like that. Okay. What do we think so far? 
I kind of like it. In fact, I really do. I really do like it. Okay, let's bring this guy up, bring this guy up, and bring this guy up. And probably that one too. And extend it upwards like so. Bring that guy up too, because we can. And that's fair, I think. I think that's okay. Um, what's going on here? There, okay, right. We're, we'll, we'll merge those together later, maybe. But there you go. Uh, we've extended it all the way over the side. So we're now going to bring it outwards, like so. And that's all we need to do. Okie dokie, next thing, what are we going to do here? We're going to extend all of these guys, there we go, we're then going to grab this one, uh, and I'm assuming it does it the same thing on the other side. We're going to bring these guys, oh, how am I going to do this? Alright, grab that, that, there we go, bring it downwards, bring it outwards, but then we're going to bring it in. Okay, that's kind of interesting. We're then going to grab all of these guys, we're going to bring them inwards, upwards, and then inwards from the side. Is that right? <laughs> Is that right? I don't know. Uh, we're going to do it like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, grab this guy, this guy, and this guy. And send it a little bit further this way. We're then going to have to do this one going inwards. I don't want it to be like a shot trap. So we can't do that. We, we can't do that. So we're going to leave it like this. Pretty much. Um... There, okay, so that's going to be the front of our, our thing, <laughs> sure. Um, okay, right, firepower. Which one actually fits in there nicest? I Honestly, we need one that moves, unfortunately. Uh, I would like to angle it upwards straight away, but we can't, unfortunately. But we're going to leave that on there just like so, okay. Um, now, apparently, 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 I already have a 500mm gun somewhere in here. 500 millimeters. What the? Why is the barrel so big? All right, bring all this back. There we go. It's going to look like this, essentially. If we can move this backwards and just leave it like that, that's how big it's going to be. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. Okay, so what we're going to do is extend this. There we go. We're going to make the length of it tiny. Uh, yeah, like so. We're going to make this as big as it can be again. We're going to extend it once more. We're going to make this also really short. But we're going to give it the lip that it deserves. So. Oh, wait. But they're already at 100 mil on every other one. So maybe if we make it 50 on the others. Then maybe that'll work. Okay, 50, 50. 50, 50. And we'll have it like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Okay. So we got the big old gun on there. It is 500 uh, millimeters. Ridiculous. Okay, so now we're going to go to compartments again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually, is the better way of doing this to grab this piece and bring it backwards to here? Possibly. There we go. So now when I extend these guys, uh, we're not going to overlap anything too crazily. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if I do it on both sides, we raise them both up. There we go. And we're going to angle them forward so they sit on there. And that is it. That's how I want it to be. Uh, again, pretty ridiculous. It gives us a little bit more room on the inside, though, and that's definitely what we need. Um, so, I think I'm happy with this. Oh! <laughs> okay, these are the rounds that need to go in there, and I'm kind of scared about this, to be honest, but they do need to, they do need to go in there. Uh, whether it's one round or two, I feel like we need two, to be fair. So, we're going to go ahead and try and put this inside. Um, for some reason, that's saying it's outside. Why? I actually don't know. There we go. Bring it off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and put another one directly above that one. So push this in. I would like to turn that around and have it the same direction. That'd be good. Uh, ooh, there we go. And then move it in. Here we go. Mm, there we go. Fantastic. So it only carries two shots. That's pretty cool. What would be awesome in this game, uh, especially with vehicles like this one, is to be able to carry ammunition on the outside the same way the fuel tank works. Because... That makes sense, I feel, with with vehicles like this anyway. Okay, so um, we've actually filled up all of the areas that we have. So what we're going to do now is actually extend it down just a little bit more uh, in this area. So bring this downwards and possibly backwards also. Not inwards, but backwards. Uh, is that the green one? Yeah, backwards. There we go. Um, yeah, that's cool. That works. All right, grab the points. This one, this one, and this one. So it doesn't look so weird. Bring these out. And these ones too, I guess, maybe? Uh, yeah, I want it to be somewhat flat. There we go. 
Good. All right. Next thing. What do we need to do? Um, spare tracks. Oh, and spare everything, actually. So these guys will go on the sides up here just to give us a little bit extra armor. There we go. Oh, they look weird there. there it does. It looks strange there. Um, so we're actually just going to go and put it on the side. And we're going to have, like... Oh, I don't know how much of it, actually. Like, two? Like that, I guess. But I feel like that should go down here. Um, I don't know where it should go. I, I don't know where it should go. Hmm. That's an issue. I'm going to put it there for now. That's okay. All right, good. I want it to be the same on both sides, though. So we're actually just going to have to take this off. Turn it around so that, it's, so that it fits. And then go ahead and put it on the other side the exact same. There. Pretty much. Okay. Looks a bit weird, but we got it. Good. Okay, also an extra one of these. Not a bad idea either. So we're going to put that on both sides. There we go. Okay. Um, that's it for those, I think. The crew... Oh, yikes. Okay. The crew are going to get in via a huge door on the back. This is also where the ammunition is going to go through. So, yeah. They get in through the same place the ammunition uh, does. So there you go. Put that to the side. That's awesome. Um, right. Okay. So far, so good. The driver's sight? I don't know where the driver would be on this. I really do not know. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the driver's sight there. And then make it a little bit wider. And it's just going to merge in with the side. But that's it. There's not much I can do there. I feel like that's okay. Yeah. Um, right. We're also going to go ahead and put these guys on the top of the tank so we can see out. There we go. That looks okay. Stowages. I mean, these guys on the side would be cool, but not really, I guess. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put these guys on. Utilities, bucket and spade and stuff like that. Yes, we're going to go ahead and put these guys here. Um, presumably on both sides will be fine. Sleeping bags, yes. They're actually going to go up here, though. And I'm only going to put them on this side. There we go. So sleeping bags, we'll have two. Yep, good. Um, what else do we need? What else do we desperately need? I don't know. Uh, kind of want to put these on the side. Like that. Yeah. Okie dokie. I want them in the same place though. So move this one upwards. So it merges with that one very nicely. Like so. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, what about these? What about these? Oh, it's like the wrong way around. What if I put them on this side? Oh, there we go. Would you look at that? It can actually fit one of these. Which is pretty sick to be fair. So we're going to go ahead and have that. Nice. Only on one side, though, I think. Because that, that works. Okay. How do I get rid of this? I can't actually grab this thing anymore. Oh. Uh. Ooh. I seen the... Oh. I can't grab it. Hey, there we go. Oh, now I can't grab it again. There we go. Okay, so this is only going to go on this side. Um, And hopefully that's fine. Bosh. Good. Yes. Alright guys, I think we've built something pretty sick here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more detail to this. Try and make it look sexy. And then we're going to go from there. Okay, so there we go. I've added a little bit more detail. Uh, obviously we've got the sleeping bags on the back. We've got these little handle thingamabobbies. These crane lift uh, bits. There we go. we got some lights. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the boxes next to the door. We've got the commander's cupola on the top. I've made that as big as it can actually be. And I think it actually fits really well. We got the tracks on the front. We've got these lifty bits on the front as well. We've also got some lights on the front. We have these guys on the side. I've got tarp on the side, and that is everything I've added. Oh, also, also these. Um, so now that we've done all of that, what I want to do next is... Oh, this is kind of tricky. I'm not sure what I actually want to do next. Uh, a gun on the top would be kind of interesting. I don't think it's necessary, though. Um, one of these uh, right there just as like an escape. Sure, we're going to go ahead and put one of those on. And then, I don't think there's anything else that we really, really desperately need uh, anywhere. So, what I might do is go to utilities, have one of these just be on the top because it fits. And then, that's it. That is actually it. Okay, so, uh, livery, yes. If we go with this, it, it fits. Like, it does actually fit. If we go with that, it somewhat fits too, but I would want to make it more saturated. And also... Uh, yeah, actually, I'd want to make it look like that. There we go. Scale of it, bigger or smaller? Probably smaller. There we go, so it looked like this. Okay. Metallic? Not really. Roughness? Not really either, actually. Condition? 
Not quite perfect. There we go. Grimy, yes. I think that fits. Uh, but does it? I don't know. That also somewhat fits too. And then desert? Desert doesn't fit it. That doesn't fit it. That doesn't really fit it. No. I, I feel like either this or this. Actually, that looks pretty sick. Or this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to go with. I'm feeling this, so we are going to go with with it. All right, cool. Uh, the next thing, then decals. We're going to go to custom. There we go. And we're going to have a wooden deck. <laughs> it seems very strange to have a wooden deck, but that is what we are going to do. Unfortunately, it goes up the sides of there. Um, but what can you do about that? Not much. In fact, actually, we can leave this around there. And then we might be able to get away. It'll probably look okay doing this. There we go. So we've got a wooden deck on the back. Everything else looks pretty sick. I like it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, right. Emblems. Should we go with one of these? I feel like we should go with one of these on both sides. There we go. It fits. The colors all fit. Everything looks good. Um, one of these on the front as well. I mean, it could work, I suppose. Looks a bit strange, though, doesn't it? Does look a bit weird. Um, maybe over here, though, on the edges. Little tiny ones? Sure. Uh, so there we go. I would like to add something down here to make it look nicer, so let's try and figure that out. I added some logs. <laughs> I've added some logs. That's that's it. Uh, and also, we might as well add uh, the spades as well. That's it. So now we've built a tank that currently weighs 66 tons. Unfortunately, this thing is going to weigh a lot more than 66 tons uh, because all of this is going to be the heavily, the most heavily armored uh, bit that you can actually put on here. Um, it's all going to be 200. It is all going to be 200. So, bosh. There we go. 200 millimeters. Uh, unfortunately, this bit and this bit actually have to be 200 millimeters too, uh, which puts us very overweight. We're also going to do the sides, and the back of it is not going to be armoured, or armed, at all. Armoured, yes, not going to be armoured at all. So it is literally just the side pieces and the back. Okay, they're going to be only armoured to about 80, that's fine. Now we need to come up with more space, and then we will be good to go. So, 25 litres of fuel, <laughs> that's not very much. Uh, we can put an extra fuel tank on here if we need to. In fact, I'm going to. We're going to go ahead and put a fuel tank right there. Uh, quite a big one actually. There we go and um, yeah we need to come up with more more space. We also actually need to add vents and also exhaust for the engine. So um, that's going to be tricky isn't it? How do I give it more room? How do I? Because this already looks quite, quite ugly on the front. The, the back I don't want to look uglier but we might have to. We might have to make it look uglier on the rear. Okay let's do this and that. There we go. Okay, that's fine. So it's been extended out the back a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. So the fuel is actually going to go in the back like this. There we go. Uh, if we go to mobility, we go to engine. We're going to go and put the exhausts on the back of here. Essentially like this, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much just like that. Uh, the vents for the engines... So, this is where things get interesting. I don't know where these should go. But if we have... Let's say the engine was in the back, underneath. If we have a bunch of these vents on the side, if we have enough of them, uh, we can say that it, it would be cooled. Maybe. Oh, they, they're getting painted. Each one of these is getting painted with wooden colours. It's very strange. But there we go. Let's say there's a million vents right there on both sides. Um, I think that'll work. Yeah, why not? Okay, so currently we weigh 79 tons. That is a little bit too much for the mission that we want to do. So, in order to make it a little bit lighter, uh, and also compromise slightly, we're going to go ahead and make these ones on the edges slightly less, because they're at an angle. They're at more of an angle, anyway. Uh, actually, we don't want to make them too much less. Not really. Not really. Uh... Okay, maybe the back side, this bit, this bit, and this bit can all be 60 instead. Okay, and then I haven't actually added any armor to this bit, and it needs it. So unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we're adding more armor. All right, what if the front wasn't as armored as, as maybe you c it could be? All right, so maybe it's a 180 instead. 
180 instead. There we go. And then these bits down here. A little bit less. Because currently these are 200. What if it's 160? There we go. Okay. Unfortunately, it weighs too much. And we got too much space. <laughs> Yikes. That's annoying. Okay, I've just come across another issue. Like a very, very big issue, actually. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> There is nothing that I can do to make this, um... There's nothing I can do to make this tank not lift its gun, if that makes sense. So, I've just gone ahead and put constraints on it. We can only fire forwards. That's all we can do. Okay, but if we can only fire forwards, that's fine. We'll just have to get very close to the enemy and then just bop them. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be sick. Okay, um, I'm trying to figure out how to make this thing go down to 75 tons so that we can actually fight the enemy a little bit. I'm thinking if we take one of these out, that's it. There we go, we're at 75 tons. One round being taken out of the tank, <laughs> lowered it by how much? How much do these things weigh? Hang on. Oh my goodness, like seven tons. No way! That's crazy! Okay, so, um, how do I then get this much space back? So the engine's currently quite a lot. The crew is actually a lot, a lot. Uh, we're only gonna fire once, so we don't even need a loader. We don't, we don't need a loader. Um, we're gonna go ahead and lower this down by one, and there we go. We are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and we're gonna take it into the mission with the, um, the tiger. Oh no, you know what? It's not gonna work. Oh, it might. It might. We're going to take it in there, and we're going to see if we can actually kill it with this thing. We'll see. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, is it going to shoot me? Also, I can't aim down, so that's an issue, but... We're just going to have to drive, like, directly towards it, because, um... Our, all of our armor's on the front. That's okay, here we go. I haven't been shot at yet. In fact, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't even see it. What if there's no tank there? Also, can you see anything? I can barely see anything. Uh, right, here we go. It is there. There is there is a tank there. Okay, well, keep going forwards, and we're going to annihilate it. I've only got one round. Oh, it's the Russian one. The Soviet one. Okay. Presumably that can move its gun and shoot me. Oh, it can't aim up. Okay, right. Let's go to the side. I can't aim down, so we're, we're at a disadvantage on both ends. They've got a disadvantage, and I've got a disadvantage. Because I need to find a hill in order to shoot at them. Okay, we found a hill. Turns out. Okay, three, two, one. Wait. Do I need a loader in order to actually load the first round? Oh, I guess I do. Okay. Right, loaders. Actually, we don't need we don't need that. We can just have this. There we go. Now I should be able to fire. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're up against the same tank. Turns out it doesn't want to fire at me yet again, but that's okay. We're gonna get into position yet again. And uh, we're going to see what happens here. Obviously, the penetration's not going to be very high, but the explosion damage should be pretty good. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, the IS-122 uh, does not stand a chance against it, turns out. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. So we've built... We've built, essentially, a Sturm Tiger. Uh, 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 sorry, is it, yeah, it's Sturm, isn't it? S-T-U-R-M, Tiger. But not the Tiger version, and also not the Sturm version, whatever that means. Um, we've built something with a 50 centimeter round. That is big. That is big. Uh, I can't do anything on these maps because we're against more than one target, but, um, let's go back to Sandbox. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and spawn in. We're going to put ourselves up against an enemy that can actually shoot at us. So, let's do this. And I don't know what we should go up against, but probably like a tiger. I don't know. Maybe we should go up against the, um... That. There we go. It's got a beefy gun on it. It might... Oh! <laughs> it missed. It missed. It's now my turn. My turn. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's amazing! That is amazing! Sorry, that giggle was fantastic, but yes! It totally worked! Brilliant! 
Alright, well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this one, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.